very good morning dear aspirants welcome to learning radius welcome to learning radius current affairs discussion in today's discussion we'll be discussing another 10 topics of international relations and we'll be discussing the topics of india and brazil indo nepal link canal mahakali treaty us china dominate arms market indian un base better than cash alliance kli project partners in population and development ppd 36th Charter Day Anniversary of South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation, 14th ASEAN Defense Ministers Meeting Plus, and Hanukkah. So in this video, we'll be discussing this 10 topic. One is Hanukkah. Next is uh, 14th ASEAN Defense Ministers Meeting Plus. Next is 36th Charter Day Anniversary of South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation, that is SAC. Partners in Population and Development, that is PPD. KL Indian UN based better than cash alliance, US China dominate arms market, Mahakali Treaty, Indo Nepal link canal, and Indo Brazil relationship or India Brazil relationship. So, when, it come, when we come to the first discussion that is India and Brazil, a webinar was held between India and Brazil. The theme of webinar was Indian defense industry global outreach for collaborative partnership webinar and expo. So theme of webinar was Indian Defense Industry Global Outreach for Collaborative Partnership Webinar and Expo. It was organized under the aegis of Department of Defense Production, Ministry of Defense through SIDM. So the theme of webinar was uh, Indian Defense Industry Global Outreach for Collaborative Partnership. This webinar, which is the first being organized with South American countries, is a part of the series of webinars which are being organized with friendly foreign countries in order to boost defense export and achieve defense export target of dollar five billion in the next five years. So that is about uh, India and uh, Brazil discussion. And India stated that broad-based bilateral defense cooperation is important in exchanging the strategic partnership. The webinar was attended by more than 150 delegates and more than 100 virtual exhibition stall from Indian companies were set up in the expo. So that is a discussion right between India and Brazil and the theme of the webinar was Indian Defense Industry Global Outreach for Collaborative Partnership Webinar and Expo. And it was organized the ages of Department of Defense Protection, Ministry of Defense through SIDM. So that is India and Brazil discussion. Next is Indo-Nepal Link Canal. India's premier hydropower company and PSU under Ministry of Power laid the foundation stone of head regulator work of Indo-Nepal Link Canal at Barish of 94.2 MW, that is the Nagpur power station of NHPC, located in uh, Banbasa, Chambawa district, Uttarakhand. The 1.2 long Indo-Nepal canal is being constructed under Mahakali Treaty signed between India and Nepal. So that is 94.2 megawatt Tanakpur power station of NHPC, located in Banbasa, Chambawa district, that is the basic GK behind. So India's premier hydropower company and PSU under Ministry of Power laid the foundation stone of head regulator work of Indo-Nepal Link Canal at Barrage of 94.2 megawatt Tanakpur power station of NHPC located in Banbasa, Chambawa district, Uttarakhand. So in that, the fundamental clarity regarding the Indo-Nepal Link Canal at Barrage at the same time Tanakpur power station should be there in your mind. The 1.2 kilometer long Indo-Nepal Canal is being constructed under Mahakali Treaty. So obviously, Mahakali is into discussion. The fundamental geography behind Mahakali should be there in your mind. And what is NHPC? We know NHPC is India's leading organization for hydropower development. It has the capability to undertake all the activities from conceptualization to commissioning in relation to setting up of hydro project and has all diversified in the field of solar and wind power. This discussion is about Mahakali Treaty. The Mahakali Treaty signed in February 1996 between India and Nepal pertains to sharing water of a river by the same name. So that is the year of uh, signing that is 1996 and now it is 2021. So it's almost 25 years. So Mahakali Treaty is significant. That is why separate heading on that. So Mahakali Treaty signed in February 1996 between India and Nepal pertain to sharing water of a river by the same name. Now the treaty is in force and is in the process of implementation, although there has been ups and downs in its implementation. The treaty basically aims at an integrated development of water resources in the Mahakali River and has been finalized 
on the basis of equal partnership. Mahakali originates in Nepal and forms the border between two countries for a considerable distance. The scope of the treaty covers the Sharada Barrage, the Tanakpur Barrage and the proposed uh, Panjeshwar project. So there is a discussion about uh, Mahakali as such. Next is uh, United States, China dominates our market, a basic discussion came in newspaper. According to Stockholm International Peace Research Institute report, United States and Chinese companies dominated the global arms market in 2019, while the West Asia made its first appearance among the 25 biggest weapon manufacturers. So there is a discussion came and the United States arms industry account for 61 percentage of sales by the world's top 25 manufacturers last year ahead of China, 15.7 percentage. That's how the discussion came. Now, next is Indian UN base better than cash alliance. Now, Indian UN based uh, better than cash alliance organized a joint peer learning exchange on fintech solution for responsible digital payment at the last mile. Better than cash alliance. So that term should be clear better than cash alliance. Better than cash alliance is a partnership of governments, companies and international organizations that accelerates the transition from cash to digital payment in order to reduce poverty and drive inclusive growth. So what is India and UN based uh, better than cash alliance is in discussion. India and UN based better than cash alliance organized a joint peer learning exchange on fintech solution for responsible digital payment at the last mile. Now what is the better than cash alliance means? What is it? Better than cash alliance is a partnership of governments, companies and international organization that accelerates the transition from cash to digital payment in order to reduce poverty and drive inclusive growth. So once again, that accelerates the transition from cash to digital payment in order to reduce poverty and drive inclusive growth. Mission is to catalyze a global movement from cash to digital payment to help achieve the sustainable development goal. So that is about um, the UN, India and UN based better than cash alliance and what is better than cash alliance, there should be clarity. Based at the United Nations, the secretaries work with the alliance member on their journey to digitalize payments by providing advisory services based on member priorities, sharing action-oriented research and fostering peer learning, conducting advocacy at national, regional and global level. So that's a basic discussion is about. Now India became a member of the Better Than Cash Alliance in 2015 to digitize payment to achieve financial inclusion and to share success stories from Prasanna Mandri, Jandan Yojana, the world's largest financial inclusion program. Alliance is working with several state governments towards the goal of building knowledge and program where people, governments and business can make and receive digital payment. So it's more into digital payment and for inclusive growth. So what is better than cash alliance should be clear in your mind and I convey the discussion. Now, next is KLI project and the union cabinet chaired by Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi has given its approval proportion of submarine optical fiber cable connecting between mainland Kochi and Lakshadweep island. So K stands for Kochi, L, L stands for Lakshadweep and I stands for island. So the union cabinet chaired by the Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi has given its approval for provision of submarine optical fiber cable connectivity between mainland Kochi and Lakshadweep island. That's a discussion. The project envisages provision of a direct communication link through a dedicated submarine optical fiber cable RFC between Kochi and 11 islands of Lakshadweep. Islands, is, islands of Lakshadweep is in discussion. So you should have an idea about the 11 islands and the basic clarity regarding Kavarati, Kalpeni, Agathi, Amani, Androth, Minikoi, Bangaram, Bitra, Chetlat, Kiltan and Katmat. So here, this Kochi and 11 islands are having connection. The project envisages provision of a direct communication link through a dedicated submarine optical fiber cable between Kochi and 11 islands of Lakshadweep with um, Kavarati, Kalpeni, Agathi, Amani, Androth, Minikoi, Bangaram, Bitra, Chetlat, Kiltan and Katmat. The estimated cost of implementation is about RSR 1072 crore including operational expense for 5 years so that's a discussion about KLI project. Next is about PPD partners in population and development. Dr. Harsh Vardhan, Union Minister for Health and Family Welfare, digitally addressed the inter-ministerial conference by partners in population and development. 
Partners in Population Development is an intergovernmental initiative created specifically for the purpose of expanding and improving South to South collaboration in the field of reproductive health, population, and development. So, Dr. Harshwardhan, Union Minister for Health and Family Welfare, digitally addressed interministerial conference by Partners in Population and Development. PPD was launched at the 1994 International Conference on Population and Development when 10 developing countries from Asia, Africa and Latin America formed an intergovernmental alliance to help implementation the CARA program of action. So, Partners in Population and Development, Harshwardhan, Union Minister for Health and Family Welfare, digitally addressed interministerial conference by Partners in Population and Development. So, what is PPD? So, fundamental clarity regarding what is PPD should be there in your mind. Partners in Population and Development is an intergovernmental initiative created specifically for the purpose of expanding and improving South to South collaboration in the field of reproductive health population and development. So that is a basic objective of uh, partners in population and development. Its secretariat is located in Dhaka, Bangladesh and it is having currently 27 countries. The PCC is the focal point for developing and implementing South South collaborative programs, South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation and the Secretariat, as I can mention, it is in uh, Dhaka. So that's about the Partners in Population and uh, Development, that is PPD. Next topic of discussion is about 36th Charter Day Anniversary of the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation, that is SAC. South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation was established with the signing of SAAC Charter in Dhaka on 8 December 1985. Next topic of discussion is uh, Partners in Population and Development, PPD. Dr. Hush Vodhan, Union Minister for Health and Family Welfare, digitally addressed the interministerial conference by Partners in Population and Development. So here the most important point is what is Partners in Population and Development. Partners in Population Development is an intergovernmental initiative created specifically for the purpose of expanding and improving South-South cooperation or South-South collaboration in the field of reproductive health, population and development. So, what is PPD's intergovernmental initiative created specifically for the purpose of expanding and improving South-to-South collaboration in the field of reproductive health and uh, reproductive health population and development and its secretariat is at Dhaka, Bangladesh and it's having currently 27 members and PCC is the focal point of developing and implementing South-South collaborative program. So that is about PPD as such and try to have more clarity regarding the fundamentals of PPD. Next topic is 36th Charter Day Anniversary of the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation. So we know what is South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation that is SAC was established with the signing of SAC Charter in Dhaka on 8 December 1985. It comprises of eight member states, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Maldives, Nepal, Pakistan and Sri Lanka. So the objectives of SAC should be clear in your mind. At the same time, the 36th Charter Day Anniversary of the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation as it was held. So the fundamental clarity regarding SAC as an organization and objectives of SAC should be there in your mind. Next topic of discussion is 14th ASEAN Defense Ministers or the 14th ASEAN Defense Ministers Meeting Plus. So, Riksha Mantri Sri Rajna Singh attended the 14th ASEAN Defense Ministers Meeting Plus organized online at Hanoi, Vietnam on 10 December 2020 that marked the 10th anniversary of ADMM that is ASEAN Defense Ministers Meeting Plus. This year marks the 10th anniversary of this year marks the 10th year of inception of ADMM plus 4. So, Riksha Mandri Sri Rajnath Singh attended the 14th ASEAN Defense Ministers Meeting Plus organized online at Hanoi, Vietnam on 10 December 2020 that marked the 10th anniversary of ADMM plus. A special commemorative 10th anniversary celebration was conducted which was attended by the Prime Minister of Socialist Republic of Vietnam, Mr. Nguyen Swan Phuc and Raksha Mandra of India was extended the privilege to address the celebratory, sorry, celebratory session as a special gesture reflecting India's recognition by the forum. 
So here, the tenth year of inception of ADMM plus, that is a significant point. So the for founders now ADMM is in discussion because it is the tenth year of inception. So we should have clarity what is ADMM. Now how ADMM came in news, that is Raksha Mandri Sri Rasna Singh attended the 14th ASEAN Defense uh, Minting Minister Minting. Sorry, uh, attended the 14th ASEAN Defense Ministers Meeting Plus organized online at Hanoi. Vietnam on 10 December 2020. Now, what is ADMM Plus? ADMM Plus is the only official framework of defense ministers meeting in the Asia in the Asia Pacific region. It's a platform for ASEAN and its eight dialogue partners to strengthen security and defense cooperation for peace, stability, and development in the region. ADMM Plus countries includes 10 ASEAN member states and eight plus countries, namely Australia, China. India, Japan, New Zealand, ROK, Russian Federation, and United States. So these are the significant fundamentals. And in that, ADMM plus countries include 10 ASEAN member states and 8 plus countries is an important fundamental GK you are supposed to have in your mind related to ADMM plus. And the final topic of discussion is related to Hanukkah. The Prime Minister Narendra Modi greeted the people of Israel on the festival of Chang Hanukkah Simei. Hanukkah is also known as Tanuka. It's an eight-day Jewish celebration that marks the rededication during the second century BC of the second temple in Jerusalem, where according to legend, Jews had risen up against their Greek Syrian oppressors in the Maccabean revolt. So there's a festival called Hanukkah. It is also called as Tanuka. So our Prime Minister, Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, greeted the people of Israel on the festival of Chakhanuka Sami, so or Samish, so that is a fundamental GK, and Hanukkah means dedication in Hebrew. The eight day holiday celebrates the rededication of the Temple of Jerusalem after it was retaken by Maccabees, a group of Jewish warriors from the Greek in the second century BC, that is, Hanukkah festival is about. So that's all for now, that's all about these 10 topics, and in the next video, we'll be covering the next 10 topics of international relations. And keep an extra eye in all these top 10 topics. And at the same time, the materials related to the same will be there in the website too. So you can watch the video at the same time. You can read the material simultaneously and understand the fundamentals. You're supposed to have clarity as such. At the same time, in the coming video, we'll be discussing the next 10 topics. And keep an extra eye in your premium preliminary question papers. Work out the question paper. And that gives you an extra edge too. So that's all for now. Have a great time. Calm version is the most protective version. Keep an eye over the videos and the coming videos. Have a great time. Thank you.